G'day guys, welcome to my channel. I am Pierre and this is Simple Homebrew. Just a quick update, just letting you know that I am still around. I haven't been posting much because I've just been busy. You know how it is. I've decided to take a break this month just to catch up on a whole heap of things elsewhere other than uh, filming and doing my uh, brewing. Unfortunately, I can't keep away from it. So I have done some brews. I've actually made some wine, some all grain beer and a apple cider or pear cider actually. I've reported to our Patreons, let them know what's going on so that they can see what I'm doing and you know they're paying me money to make videos and help me grow and uh, I really need to report to them at least once a week or once every two weeks so that is that. Uh, this video is going out to my members first and it's going out to everybody else which you'll see today and I just want to let you know what I'm doing. I'm also <laughs> going to do a cider month next month which is february 2022 and it's just going to be all month about ciders so hopefully you'll enjoy that it's something a bit different than actual beer brewing because i do like a cider as well i'm doing an apple mangrove jacks apple cider uh, sorry i'm doing a mangrove jacks pear cider so something else that i'm getting into just to have a go at something else other than beer I'm also working on a wine, which is this, which is Wine Expert Classic uh, California Shiraz. So I really like the um, Wine Expert kits, and they work really well. I got this one about six months ago. It's been sitting in the shed, hot and cold, hot and cold. So I decided to buy a different yeast, a wine yeast by Mangrove Jacks from, actually it was from um, a, how was it, Yarrigan, Yarrigan Brewery? I think we were, we were to Yarrigan Beer House? Yarrigan Beer House. This one, <laughs> you can see that. It's uh, the house, Yarrigan. Hang on, I'll tell you, tell you exactly. Oh, Yarrigan Ale House. Yarrigan Ale House. So I went and said hello to Damien down there. So you guys down there, say hello. Um, good bunch of blokes, but the look of it, it's a good place to go to have a beer and relax. And uh, got myself some yeast from these guys and uh, I've processed and done the beer, uh, wine, sorry. It is still fermenting, it's still bubbling. I'm also wanting to do a bit of a talk on the Plato airlock. Um, so far I'm, I've been using it for the last couple of brews and I've come across more problems than I have actually had any use out of it so far. Yet to do more research to find out how it works. Uh, do another couple of brews and see if it actually stays connected. That was the biggest issue, it wouldn't stay connected. Uh, apparently it needs to be a 2.4 gigahertz connection and uh, that's what it's connected to, but somehow I get interference somewhere along the line, and I don't know why. I'm also planning to change my working life. I have been in this business or retail business for 27 years, and I've decided to make a change. I want to get out of it a little bit and start something that I like doing a bit more. Uh, maybe work a bit more part time because I've been doing like 50, 60 hours a week, and it gets to you. It gets up. It catches up to you. You get you get fed up, you know, and it's it's just I'm done with that. Gonna go on some long service leave for you know four months, and I've told my Patreons this already. And uh, gonna take my time to figure out what I'm gonna do in my next 15 years of working life that I have. I am 53 now, so I do have about 15 years left of working, so that's a fair bit of time still to go. And uh, I just wanna contemplate what I need to do next. Uh, getting out of retail a little bit, I think, is a smart move. Stress factors are gonna drop, and I have a lot more time for my hobbies and stuff as well. I'm not rich, of course, I've got no money, so I still have to do work and still have to work and make money. So I'm hoping to better my life. Uh, the other thing is, Firkin Sellers is now closed. We have no Firkin Sellers anymore. I think they are online, but they didn't communicate with me and let me know what they were doing. So that's a, that was a bit disappointing to find out when I drove up there to find out the windows have been all painted over and no one's there and uh, unable to contact them. So I don't know what's going on there. So I have to find a new brew shop. Fortunately though, we do have a good one here, or good two brew shops in Trelgan that I know of, so I'll, I'll keep using these guys, and, and hopefully I can promote them on my site as well, if they're happy to do that, if happy for me to do that. I always like to, lo I like to look after our locals. Good bunch of blokes anyway, so we'll work on that. So that's, that's my report for today. I'm sorry I haven't been there. I'm uh, gonna do some more tastings as well, cider tastings, and that's gonna happen in February as well, and I'm gonna do a couple of brews as well. So we're hoping, that we get through next February without beer. So it's gonna be a bit different. All right guys, thank you for watching my channel. Thanks for, thanks for listening to this catch up and uh, we'll catch you soon. Cheers.